Thank you for purchasing your Robo 3D printer and welcome to the world of Robo 3D. Together, we can change the world. You've opened the Robo 3D box and have plugged the thumb drive into your computer. Now go ahead and clear a space for you to put your printer within a few feet of your computer. Take the top foam piece and lift the printer out of the box and set it in the space you have prepared. Take off the foam pieces and make sure you don't forget any of them. Before setting up the printer, gently unfold the heat bed wire at the back of the printer. You should notice a small power cable, USB cable, a small tool case, the spool holder, a thumb drive, micro SD card, and a small sample of PLA filament. Make sure you have the voltage of the power set to the proper setting for your country of residence. You will either keep it set at 230 volts or switch it to 115 volts. You will find this switch in the back of your printer. The small screwdriver included in your tool case will be helpful in changing the setting if that is necessary. To attach your spool holder, attach the spindle to the frame. Lastly, make sure the printer is on a level platform and that there is room for the bed to move forward and backward. Let's get started. Plug in the power cord to the wall and to the back of your printer. Plug the USB cord into your computer and into your printer on the right side. Install the software that comes available in the thumb drive with your Robo 3D. Or you can go to www.robo3d.com and find the link for the latest software under support. Once the software is installed, turn on your Robo 3D printer by pressing the power switch next to the power cable plug. When the Robo 3D is powered on, you will see that the LED lights come on and a fan turns on. You will notice two fans near the printhead. The extruder fan will always be on when the machine is powered on. The print cooling fan can be controlled with the software. Once you power on your printer, open up the software and click on the Add Printer button at the top. You can name your printer anything you would like. Click on R1 Plus if you have the newest R1 Plus machine and follow the steps to get you connected. The software will tell you to install the driver. Unplug the USB from your Robo 3D printer, press Continue. Plug the USB back into the Robo 3D printer, then press Connect. Once you see that it says connection succeeded, then you can use the functions of the software and begin 3D printing. Let's do a quick overview of the software. On the left hand side, you will notice your queue. You can upload your files into your queue by pressing add, browsing your computer for an STL file and double clicking it. This will drop that file into the queue and prepare it to 3D print. You can also open the file, scale it up or down, rotate it, add more objects to the platform, etc. If you press save, it will automatically save that file with all the changes that you made, so save it as something different if you want to preserve the original file. You can also go to your library. Notice that we have included numerous free files for you to print the minute you get your machine. To print any of these files, click edit, choose the file by checking the box, and then press add to queue. Go into the queue and press print at the top. Next, if you look at your history, it will show you all the files you have already 3D printed, the time it took, and allow you to reprint any of these files. You can add a notification when your print finishes. Go to settings and controls options. You can send yourself a text message, email, or play a sound when the print finishes. Now let's move over to the controls. You can manually control your printer in the controls. Press the home all button to see the motors move. Heat up the extruder by pressing preheat on both of them. This will let you know everything is working properly so you're ready for your first 3D print. 
If you click on the Slice Settings tab, this is where you can go in and change any of the settings you desire for the file you are 3D printing. Keep in mind, we have optimized all of the settings for different quality prints, so you do not need to change anything unless desired. The main things that you should adjust are at the top of the Slice Settings tab. Choose the quality print you would like, high, medium, or low quality. Low quality is much faster. High quality is slower and takes longer. Then choose material. We suggest always starting out printing with the PLA material included with your Robo 3D printer. You can always press the add button to create your own quality settings or material settings for your own personal quick shortcuts. The options tab will let you change the colors of the software if you would like. Now put the filament on the spool holder, straighten it out with your hand, and pass it through the top hole of the printer. Then press the thumb lever on the extruder latch to allow for the insertion of the filament. When loading the filament, you may need to straighten out the tip before inserting it into the extruder. Twist the big gear clockwise until you can see the filament extruding through the tip of the extruder. Now you are ready with material to print. We have come to know a few methods that will work well for helping the PLA and ABS to adhere to the print bed surface. Our favorite is to spray a thin coat of hairspray onto the surface of the bed while the print bed heat is maintained from 55 to 65 degrees Celsius. We recommend you shield the other parts of the printer from overspray with a piece of paper. It is also possible to use a glue stick. Rub the glue stick on the surface of the print bed, enough to cover the surface that you will be printing on. Once you have prepared your print bed and filament is loaded, press print on the file you would like, and your 3D printer will do all the work for you. The printer will automatically level with a nine point leveling process. The Robo 3D allows you to print directly from an SD card without needing to be connected to your computer. To do so, First load your SD card into the thumb drive, plug the thumb drive to your computer, and save export the print G code to the SD card. Make sure to properly eject the SD card from your computer. Then insert it into the SD card reader on the printer. Now with the software you can choose to print a file that is stored on the SD card. You will find the files in your print queue under Options. Choose Load Files from SD Card, then start your print. Once the print has started, you can disconnect from the software and unplug the USB cable from your computer. Now the printer will print the object by itself. For each print you start, make sure you watch the first layer. If the print bed has been prepared correctly, your first layer should look perfect. If you notice small imperfections such as a filament sticking up or small clumps of filament randomly scattered across the layer, then let the print continue. These won't be noticeable once the next layer or two is laid on top of this first layer. Congratulations on your first print! If any of the components are not working, try disconnecting the printer, turning it off, and restarting the computer. Then retry. If you don't have power, make sure the voltage is set to the proper setting. If it's still not working, then try a different power cord. If your first layer is not sticking, it is probably due to the print head being too high, as shown in this example, or the surface requiring either hairspray or glue stick to create adhesion. You can adjust the height of your print head in your control settings under the Macros tab. The default setting is 1 mm. Adjust this in increments of 0.1 mm. To increase, try 1.1 mm. To decrease, try 0.9 mm. If no plastic is coming out of the extruder, clean the teeth of the hopped bolt so it can pull the plastic material down into the hot end. Pull out the filament currently in the printer. Cut the filament about 6 inches up to start with a fresh piece of plastic and make sure you've straightened the filament and retry. If you would like to remove the glue and hairspray from your print bed, simply spray some water onto the print bed and scrape away the glue or hairspray using the scraper tool that comes with the printer. 
You may also want to try conditioning the nozzle. This is a quick process where you can put a small amount of cooking oil on the first inch of the filament. Load the filament in the nozzle and retry. You may notice the noise level of the print movements increase over time. In that case, simply lubricate the vertical threaded rods using light machine oil or sewing machine oil. If you have any other issues, contact robo3dhelp at gmail.com. Thank you and enjoy your Robo3D.